I feel like I'm growing up again and the idea that I have of me, the idea that I have of Cecil is changing. But in reality, my actions does not really reflect this feeling a lot. And I feel like I'm falling behind of the idea that I have of myself. So in this video, finally, it's time to catch up. Do you recognize the feeling of being in a trance-like state and feeling like your body is not able to follow along with the life your mind visualizes for you? You end up snoozing your early morning alarm and spend the first minute awake with scrolling through social media, despite having promised yourself differently the night before. You start the day feeling disappointed with yourself and find that feeling hanging over your head for the rest of the day as well. This describes my state of being the last couple of months pretty well. Burnout from work comes creeping in slowly and before I know of it, I feel disconnected in what I do. Instead of meditating, cooking a home-cooked meal, or going for a walk, or even sometimes just getting out of bed, I spiral into a constant state of disappointment in myself. But good news is that I've learned over the time that falling behind in your visions towards yourself and becoming easily disappointed with yourself happens to all of us. So I'm ready to catch up to myself and start this race with the idea that I have of myself and I want to document it, so here you go. That's still quite hot. The incense that I'm burning today is a white sage incense. I haven't burned that a lot, but it's it's making the whole like environment or atmosphere in here really nice and comforting. I woke up today and I felt really good and inspired. Um, so I thought I would make a list of the things that I want to to be, so to say. Like I know exactly the kind of person or like personality or what kind of traits and habits that I would like to have. But I also know that I'm extremely burned out and I'm very easily overwhelmed by everything because of this cycle of burnout and disappointment. And that is why I think I like I brought my little notebook here because I want to write down a little list of all of the things that you know I would like to define myself for like I'm the person who does this and I'm gonna split it into two I'm gonna split it into a personal life and a work life kind of thing and then I'm just gonna write everything that I would like to do but while I do it I really have to like take a deep breath in and be aware of the fact that I'm not telling myself that I have to be this immediately or tomorrow or January 1st. These are just visions and kind of manifestations. So I'm not obligated to follow through on any of this. And after I write it down, I'm gonna choose which ones that I would like to take on first because we can't take on everything at once, especially in this kind of cycle. So. I'm gonna write up here. There's absolutely no limits for what I can achieve. So I am going to have no boundaries here and just keep it flowing. I have just had a look at my little list here and it makes me so extremely happy and inspired to look at this. It just does something writing it down on paper, what you want to change and what you want to do. It gives a new perspective and it's very refreshing to look at to be honest. So the things that I have chosen to follow, like really focus on these days is having a regular sleep schedule. I would also like to be better at meditating 
especially tomorrow is full moon in Taurus, I would definitely want to get something in there. And I want to be better at using it as a stress coping mechanism because a lot of the times when I'm stressed, I just either go on my phone and watch TikTok videos and then I fall into that lump for a couple of hours or I literally just start to cry. So maybe meditating is a better way <laughs> to deal with that. And then I also want to get better at not spending the last and the first moments of my day on my phone. That kind of goes hand in hand with my next one, which is I want to read more. Because honestly, I've been reading this book this morning and I realized I've had this book for forever and I still haven't finished it. It's a pretty easy read and it's not very long. So I'm a little bit... No, I was just about to say I'm disappointed with myself. I'm not. I need to get out of that. I'm not disappointed with myself. I just have not found the little side inside of me who can tell myself that I really enjoy to read and I do so I want to be better at doing that so these are very like inward focusing I don't know if you noticed that I did not choose to focus on going back to the gym or getting out of the house more or cooking at home because I feel like that's the next level I need to start from inside and then I can build to the outside so yeah this is what I'm focusing on this time Wanting to change our habits is probably a feeling that most of us can recognize. And it can become so frustrating, especially because it seems so easy to just wake up early, but yet we don't really do it. I used to think there was something wrong with my motivation, but to be honest, there was nothing wrong with our motivations. We all have motivations, it's not because we lack of it, but we still don't do it. So we already have will and we already have motivation to change our habits, but it's something else that keeps us from doing it. I personally think that the issue lies in how we define ourselves. Instead of defining ourselves as someone who would like to wake up early and would like to be more productive in their work, why don't we spin it around and say that we already are this kind of person? This is called manifestation. Okay, so I've said this before, but the sentence fake it till you make it is just a more widely accepted form of manifestation. Faking it till you're making it is literally just pretending that you already made it in order to fool someone or something, but you aren't really fooling someone, you're fooling yourself, but in a positive way. Manifestation is believing that you already made it so that in the end your actions will reflect the thing that you wanted to make it for and then your body and your mind will believe it and it will become a part of you. One thing that I want to change, that I've been wanting to change for forever, it is about my appearance and it's kind of connected to this idea of the kind of person that I want to be and it's getting a nose ring. <laughs> I've been wearing a fake nose ring a couple of times out and it had seriously made me in some sense super confident in a sense. I'm always confident, but it has just made me feel powerful in a way. And I kind of am so amazed by the fact that little tiny things can have this much like difference in how you feel about yourself. And so I got to thinking like, why do I love it so much? And I realized that I connect personality or traits or habits to these kinds of thing. So when I think about a person with a nose ring, I think about someone who is true to themselves, free spirited, acts out of love and is artistic. And these are all traits that I would love to say that I have. So why don't I just get a nose piercing? <laughs> Because in my head, I connect these things to the nose piercing, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. And with faking it, I mean doing it for real <laughs> and getting a nose piercing. So that's what I'm doing today. I'll see you when I'm heading out. <laughs> I saw a glimpse of glory, something I knew before. Right now I can't remember what I was hoping for. Then came a moving picture, pulling the wall again. Okay, we have arrived and I have officially become nervous. <laughs> I'm like a little bit tingly, but in the good way. Yeah. And we were just looking at a video that was really emphasizing the fact that this is supposed to be. Yeah. I'm so perfectly. ready. Yeah. We're gonna pierce ourselves into the new reality. Yes. 
now I'm a new person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm let's ready? go. I'm ready. Woo! I'm <laughs> feeling drunk, but I'm not drunk. <laughs> I have a, uh, a little bit of a needle phobia. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> You're probably used to many yeah. people mm -hmm. being nervous, right? But you know what? Me too. I hate needles. And I will hold your skin like yes. this, this is not hurt, mm -hmm. not yet. The bands mm -hmm. start. Is it fine? Mm -hmm. It's very fine. That's all. You're done. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 If you need a link for the Africa, please send at the end. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay. Here we have it. I'm so, I'm actually really, really proud of myself for doing this because I was legit scared that I might have chickened out. But I told Sile yesterday over the phone, I was like, if I want to quit, you don't let me quit. And she was like, okay, but please promise me we're still friends afterwards then. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a person with a nose piercing. Ha <laughs> ha. I am feeling extremely burned out in my job, which is very common I learned in content creation. Every single week I script, I plan, I film, I edit and upload a video. And the balance of staying true to myself and keeping myself personally in the videos and also doing something fun and exciting new every week can be quite tiring. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job and I feel extremely privileged to be able to sit here and live off of doing this. The issue more lies in myself. I'm losing myself in my videos a little bit and I would like to get that back. One thing that has kept me going throughout this time is my podcast with Sile. This is a way that I am extremely passionate about keeping myself engaged and showing a side of me that I'm proud to show to the world and share my thoughts. The fact that we started after sunset has been such a huge help for me and a motivation for me to keep going and keep improving and working on myself so that I can get some of these qualities back into my YouTube channel again, hopefully. So it made me realize that I need to take the factors that I love from podcasting into my videos again, which is definitely bringing my own personal journey in on my videos a little bit more. So throughout the next time of my channel, you're definitely gonna see more about that. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Now, when you're on a new journey with yourself, you obviously are not gonna continuously go uphill. There might be a couple of bumps along the way, and I had one of these days this week.
I got to bed really late yesterday, like really late. We're talking 2 a.m. And then I got up late and then today I've had a very down mood. Like, this is so weird because I feel like I am really excited because I was going to script and I'm going to record podcast today, which is two things that I'm really passionate and excited about. But then on the other hand, I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I'm like, I'm feeling anxious. And I don't really know why, because like, I am excited to do this, but I'm also really anxious. And I think this is what, like, this is what burnout is. I really want to do stuff, but I'm feeling so overwhelmed and so anxious, even though like I have a clear plan and I'm not in a hurry either. But even the thought of anything just makes me, I don't know. It's a really frustrating feeling to have because I don't really know how to be with myself with it. So the only thing I could like get myself to do when I woke up was cleaning the house. Cleaning, I can kind of like be with my own thoughts in a way with still having the feeling of being productive. And honestly, I think that might be a little bit unhealthy of me because... As I said, like one of my goals when I'm feeling like this is to not escape that feeling, but sit and meditate on it. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna try to meditate a little bit. I don't wanna have any goal with it. I just wanna sit down and close my eyes and be with my emotions. And yeah, hopefully that'll ground myself a little bit. Thankfully, with this bad day, I learned that I could cope with feeling like this by one, meditating, and two, talk to dear friends of mine. That helped a lot. But bad days are only a very small fraction of our lives, we have to remember that. And there's definitely also some very good days, especially throughout this week, like this one. Good morning, guys. I set myself the like goal to actually finish a book this week, as I like, told you guys. And I did. I finally finished The Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Given. I love it. Even when Jake were like earlier this morning going out of the house, like we were talking about it a bit, little bit. I love that my partner is a feminist, honestly. But now I kind of, I'm feeling into it. So I kind of want to go in and see what book I should start next. I'm not really a fiction person. Actually, that is so not true. I would actually love to get back into fiction because I am a huge like fantasy fan um, or nerd, <laughs> I would say. Um, but for the past couple of years, I would say pretty much ever since I got out of school, I've only been reading nonfiction and like self-help books and stuff like that. So that's the only thing I have right now. But there's two books that I actually kind of would love to read this time around. One is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I actually, I'm like, I would say 30% through the book already and I kind of had a little like break because it's a very heavy book, but I really loved it. Or I would say What a Time to Be Alone. I've also really been wanting to read this. But seriously, just generally speaking, today I woke up and I felt so good. Like I was so happy, I was well rested and I kind of took a little break for myself in the morning to tune into my body before I looked at my phone and I turned around and I looked at Jake and I kissed him a little bit. Yeah, I just woke up in a really good way. I feel very happy, so... <sighs> yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna go and join Sile at a cafe to sit and work there because I really also want to be more like get more out of the house. Yesterday I was working all day at home which kind of has become a habit for me since my work is home so I've just been sitting at home all the time and today I want to like spice it up a bit also because I'm feeling like it so I might as well get good use out of this feeling that I have right now. Yeah. This is like a fully like soy cafe. Sila found like because it's close to um, a place that she was staying earlier on, and apparently the owner is making her soy beans by herself and a lot of the cakes that she has and brownies and such is all vegan so this is very exciting I brought a little sangha kimbap to eat first because I feel like I really want a cake but I don't want to get full in cake I want to get full in normal food first Okay, I am going to cook some lasagna. I find a recipe for a vegetarian lasagna with spinach, which is good because we have spinach that we really need to finish eating up. Lasagna was like the first thing that I ever told myself that I would make after we got the oven, like after we moved into this house in like March, and I've only made it once. <laughs> It's ridiculous, like I'm so lazy at cooking and such, but now I have like excess energy today. So I'm gonna cook and then I got some chicken breast for Jake on the side. Let's get cooking. Great, oh, I'll bring wine then. Oh, really? Uh, nice. There's only one bottle. Can you get the bread and butter then? Okay, will do. Thank you, baby. Mm, see you soon, baby. Yeah, see you. Uh. Bye. This is a really good red wine. It's the bread and butter one that Sila and I was talking about in our podcast as well. Speaking about the podcast, we are officially live on Apple Podcasts as well. I know most of you guys only watch it there, so you can finally listen to After Sunset. The links are down below. I'm so happy today, I don't know why.
Yeah, so of course. Wait, maybe actually we should. Do you think I can cut through like this? No. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you. That looks so good. Oh, and see, no. it doesn't like fall through like that. That's amazing. What the hell? Let's do it once at a time. Oh! <laughs> I'm so proud of myself even yeah, before I, I tasted it. <laughs> actually really proud of myself <laughs> um, I just came out to remove my makeup it's it's quite a bit of a struggle because of the nose piercing these days because I have to like continuously avoid the nose area and I still have to cleanse the nose you know but not around the wound and I keep pushing it which is kind of painful I'm gonna cleanse with my lavender dream oil cleanser from Sint For toner, I'm using Exodrop. I'm actually going to use the whole line of Exodrop, like the toner and the serum and then also the cream before I use my oil. I mentioned this in my live that I did a couple of weeks ago with Sarah and I have just been loving this brand so much. It's vegan and like super well researched and yeah, I love it. So let me give you a little bit of a nose piercing update. I think that would be fun because <laughs> it's uh, exactly been a week today, I think since I got my nose piercing and um, I'm having no troubles a couple of times especially after I wear glasses like I accidentally like when I take them off I take them off this way which kind of like drags <laughs> the, in the like nose ring a little bit which is really fucking painful then yeah but apart from that like I've just been cleaning it with saline every morning and evening and um, it works well like I don't have any sort of infection or gunk or anything coming out it just looks like a normal already healed hole to be honest but I'm gonna keep cleaning it until I at least run out of saline yeah I don't really know how long you have to do this for to be honest <laughs> I feel like my skin heals really really fast so I might already I would say before I go, if I go to Denmark for Christmas, I might actually be able to change it to a ring. And then lastly, the oil, my savior. Since the weather is more dry these days, I am using both a cream and my oil. I kind of feel like you can't have enough moisture, you know? <laughs> okay. I just sent you a request I think if you if you, you are you playing on PlayStation yes <gasps> are you knifflicking yes <laughs> okay uh, hi. oh that's you you're so cute why am I this girl wait after a week and a half of really living in this mindset of catching up to myself I am feeling so much better and I took as you noticed a week off of YouTube just to recharge and properly take my time with this video so I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you find maybe some inspiration to your own journey and um, and thank you so much for watching I will obviously keep updating you guys and next week I have a very special self-love and self-care video planned for you guys so stay tuned for that and please follow me on instagram if you want to follow along a little bit closer on this journey thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week bye